This is a quick tutorial to show you how to create your own ThingLink. You'll want to create your own account first so that you can use ThingLink for all of your classes. Once inside and logged into ThingLink, you just press on Create. And then it will take you to an area where you upload an image. So you can import from Flickr or all of these other items you see here. I tend to just like to save an image to my desktop and load it that way. Once the image is loaded successfully, you're able to edit it or add touch points. So I'm going to go ahead and just call this the brain. And it's, go it's ready to edit. As you can see, it says click to edit. And when I do that, I can start labeling it. Not only can you label it with text, but you can also add images or links. So if I want to really find a great image on the frontal lobe, I could go ahead and put that link in there. Or perhaps I can find a YouTube video and I'm going to copy that link and paste it here. What that does is when you are presenting or sharing this with someone else, all they have to do is press on the touch point and then it will share the information. The other thing you can do is add a SoundCloud. A SoundCloud is just a video bite, or excuse me, audio bite of you explaining a part of the brain or whatever it is you might be explaining. When you're finished, you're going to save it. And then you have the option to share it, which is this little tiny arrow right here. Here is where you can email it, post it to social networks, but you also have the hyperlink, which you could email to your teacher to show what you finished. So I, this is a quick down and dirty rundown of ThingLink. If you have any questions on it, just go ahead and Google your question.